What's up, my peoples? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Fans Toys Grenadier! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right here, you have a nice piece of artwork there of Grenadier on the side of the box here. Grenadier on the other side. Grenadier on the top and bottom, you just have pictures of the alt mode. On the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots and quite a long bio if you want to read it. I will slowly pan down for you. So there you go. Read. 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 Are you reading? Are you reading? Reading is fundamental. It's fundamental! And that's basically it for the packaging. So, moving right along, of course, included in the packaging, you do get the obligatory third-party collector's cards. There you have FT-12 T. Grenadier right there. On the back, you do got some, uh, some tech specs. You do have that same, I believe, the same bio that's on the back of the box there. So, there you have that again, in case you missed it the first time. And, yes, this says... Apparently they did this on uh, on Perceptor's card too, and I didn't even notice because I don't pay attention to the cards. Dino mode. That's not a dino. That's not. That's nowhere near a dino. I think they got so used to making dino bots that it's just force of habit now. I guess I don't know, but anyway, there you have that. So moving right along here, we have Grenadier, which is Fans Toys' take on a masterpiece bombshell, and uh, I really like this guy and um. You know, he, he, the one thing I like about this figure is that, you know, he's very small, and despite the fact that he's small, he does have some heft to him, because there is die cast in this guy, so being a small figure, he does have some heft, which is very, very nice, but um, getting close here so you can see the details, um, very nicely done, love the, uh, the chrome right there, you know me, I love my chrome, I love it, I love the paintwork here, the purple paint has that, uh, that metal flake finish, which looks really, really nice. On camera, on camera, this is coming off a lot lighter. It's almost looking blue, but in hand, this is actually a very nice dark purple and looks really, really good. Just on camera, it looks a lot lighter. It almost looks blue on camera, but, you know. Cameras are colorblind, I guess. I don't know how that works, but hey, technology. But you get some nice purple right here on the back just to break things up a bit. Um, he does have a gun butt going on there. <laughs> That's just where his weapon stores, right back there. And yeah, I mean, it looks like, like, bombshells alt mode. I mean, no way stands your butts about it. So, there you have that. And just for a comparison, uh, here he is with Masterpiece Lambor, or Sideswipe. Just to get a sense of how he scales. Right there, with the, uh, MP cars. Here he is with Bumblebee. You can see he's a lot bigger than Bumblebee. Ooh. This is like something out of some, like, you know, sci-fi channel movie. I could see that happening right there. <laughs> I think that already has happened in a sci-fi channel movie, but anyway. Uh, here he is with uh, Fans Projects, not Bombshell. You can see how those two look together. Obviously, these are going for two totally different styles, obviously, and I just, I like Fans, uh, fans Project's take because it just looks really, it looks creepy, and I like that. Um, and here it is with the Combiner Wars bombshell. Again, just for a sense of scale, and of course, here he is with G1 bombshell. Causes pressures, insectoid pressures. There you go. There he is, a little G1 bombshell. Aww. And there you go. Now, um, articulation-wise, there's some articulation on this guy. Uh, his little horn right here has a joint right here. It also has a joint right here. This piece right here can swivel if you want. And it does um, extend and contract. So... You can have it at whatever length you want. Uh, the legs are um, articulated. You do get a hinge right here at the front legs. You also get a swivel and a hinge right here. You also get a hinge 
right here, and you get a hinge right there. So lots of articulation there. On these middle legs, you do get a swivel at this joint, a swivel right here. That will haunt your dreams. Right there. And you have a hinge right here. The rear legs, you get a little bit of forward and back movement here. You do get that. Is that bothering you? Should I stop that? Let me know. I can stop at any time. Just let me know. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So you have that joint right there. And you also have a hinge right here and a hinge right here. So a lot of posability in the legs. And the joints are strong enough that he can support his weight. You can't have him off the, uh, off the ground. You don't have to have him, you know, sitting on his belly. He can actually support his weight, which is nice. So, there you have that. Now, he does come with optional pieces, which I really do like. He comes with optional legs that basically give him his, uh, his G1 legs. So, you have these right here. These are the front legs. You get the two front legs. You get the two uh, middle legs right here. And you get two back legs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this guy off screen real quick and take all this stuff with me. And we're going to swap these legs out really quick. So I will be right back. Boom! So there he is with the, uh, the G1 bug legs on. I think they look cool. I do, I, I do think I prefer these legs than the other ones. I mean, the other legs are, are nice and obviously a lot more uh, insect-like. But I do kind of prefer the kind of classic look of the uh of the original legs you know i i dig that so you know obviously it matches the toy it matches more the animation model i mean you know, besides the wheels here but you know i i think i am going to keep these legs on him and the legs are very easy to swap out all you have to do is just undo this screw right here this screw right here and there's a screw on the inside of this leg right in there that you undo and just pop the legs off pop them back on Put the screws back on, and you're good to go. And, you know, you, you lose a couple joints. Now you just have uh, a swivel right here, a swivel right here, just a swivel right there, swivel right here, this little back and forth swivel, and you get that swivel right there. So you lose some articulation in the legs, but he looks a lot more accurate, though. So I do appreciate that. So there you have that. Um, another accessory that is included is you do get... Some Energon cubes, yay, Energon cubes. You get three little cubes here, done in transclearance. Uh, purple plastic again. The purple's not coming out too well on camera, but it actually is a very nice purple. And yeah, you get some little little Energon cubes for them to harvest. So that's pretty cool. Neat little inclusion. I appreciate it. I'll put them on the shelf. There you have that. Um, you do get a transclearance chest plate right here so if you don't like the uh, solid yellow you can give them the transclearance chest plates again to homage you know the toy so you have that option um i can't swap that out right now because the screw i need to get to is actually in there but i'll show it off when we get to robot mode but yeah you do get the optional transclearance chest plate which is Again, a very, very nice inclusion. So, let's get on to transformation, shall we? Let's. So, first thing you want to do is you want to come back here, and you want to split his butt in half. Yes. I said those words. So, you just want to uh, split this, which is, ah, uh, can be quite a pain. And this gun pops right out, and you can see how the gun stores. You see there are just two, two tabs right there, and they just tab into the slots on either side of the gun. And we can take a look at his gun. Nice chromed out gun very cool so you have that so now we've undone the legs here and then you just want to take them and fold it down like that you want to take this uh, this section right here and just swing that into the leg like that and then you can rotate the leg here add to the thigh swivel and then you bring the toe up you flip the heel back and there you have a leg all done. Actually, you can bring this leg down like that. Kind of gives them a little bit more of a heel spur. So there you have one leg done. Second verse, same as the first. You just take the leg, 
bring that down. You just take this assembly here, just swing that in like that. Bring that down like that. Then you just rotate, bring up the foot, bring up the heel, and there you have that. There's this panel right here that I have no idea what the point of it is. And the instructions don't say anything about it. There's this little panel that's on a slider. Don't know what that's for. It's weird. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't know why it's there. It's there. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> the best guess I have is it's there. But anyway, moving up to the top here, you want to take these panels here that have the bug legs on them and just untab them. They tab in right there into the side of the arms. So you just kind of want to bring these out and just bring that out of the way right there. And then the arms, you want to rotate them outward like that and then swing them in. They'll swing right into this gap right here. So they'll swing right in there. And then you want to rotate this whole assembly, the whole yellow and everything. You want to rotate this upward like that. And now the shoulder is oriented properly and now it's locked in there, which is a neat little piece of engineering. So same thing here. You just want to bring it out, swing that forward. And then rotate this entire assembly, shoulder assembly, up like that. And there you got the arms all done. So again, kind of getting the, uh, the bug legs out of the way here. You want to take this little back panel right here. You want to just bring it back and split it open like that. You can see his head in there. And then you want to take the chest panel, bring that down. And then just rotate this whole assembly around. You want to make sure this comes up like that. You can compress this back down now. So once you have that done, you can then take these two panels and bring them together and push them back in. And they will tab right in back there like that. Put that up against his back and you got that done. Take the chest panel and you got two tabs, two slots. Tab that right in, right there. Then you take these two panels and you just bring them down against his back. Like that. And they'll just kind of hug around this uh, this piece right here. So just hug them around. Then you can take the legs and just do what you want with them. I usually just kind of fold them up like this. It kind of makes everything look a little more neat and compact. Like that. And you can raise these up too if you want. You can... You can do what you want, do whatever you feel will help uh, kind of hide the legs best. Maybe that works a bit better. So There you have that, and I think we're done. Are we done? I believe we're done. Yes, we're done. So there you go. There you have Grenadier in his robot mode, and very, very nicely done. I really like this guy. I really do. He looks cool. He definitely looks like, like Bombshell. Um... I, I really, really dig it. Uh, getting close here on the head sculpt. Very nice head sculpt. Nice paintwork. Nice metallic red on the eyes, too. Very, very cool. Um, and again, I just love this purple paint. It just has that metal flake finish. And I love it. It looks gorgeous. So those silver paint details right there. Nice silver on the, uh, on the crotch section there and the thighs. Very cool. And it's a nice... A nice transformation, a nice, you know, clean transformation. He has a little bit of a backpack with the legs and whatnot, but it's nothing to, you know, it's not that big of an eyesore. It's really, really nicely done. Um, Articulation-wise, his head is on a bit of a ball joint. Not a lot of wiggle, but you do get some wiggle. A little bit of up and down. So a piece right here on his head can pivot up and down as well. Arms can do a full 360. They can go in and out at this joint right here. You can kind of use the transformation joint in there to get a little bit of extra shoulder movement there, but you do get full outward movements. You do get a bicep swivel. You do get a double-jointed elbow, which is really nice. You do get a wrist swivel. The hands can open and close. You have a waist joint here, a very tight waist joint on mine. Ah, but you do get a waist joint. Uh, legs can go forward. They can go back, in and out. You do get a thigh swivel. You get a double-jointed knee, so nice full range of movements due to transformation there. Uh, the feet do have downward movement right here, as well as an ankle tilt. So, 
Yeah, very nicely done figure. Very, very cool. I dig him. I dig him very, very much. Now, of course, you can give him his gun. You can just open up his hand here. And that'll just plug in again there. Tabs. Tabs on either side of the gun so you can hold it in his left or his right hand. So you just take it. Put it into the slots in his hand. Right there, I think. No. Did I get it? Did I get it? No, I don't think I got it. I may not have gotten it. Come on. Come on. You can do it, man. You, you can do it. There we go. I didn't, have, I didn't have far back enough. There you go. Close his hand up. And there he is, holding his gun. And there you have that. So, now what I'll do is I will take this guy off camera real quick and I will swap out the chest plate here so you can see how that looks on him. So, I will be right back. Boom! There he is with the transclearant chest on. And that looks cool. And again, very invocative of the G1 toy. Me, personally, I think I'm going to leave the... Uh, the solid yellow one on because I just think that looks better but again it's cool you have display options I really like that and I definitely appreciate that when they include those little optional bits I mean it definitely adds to the uh, to the playability and to the uh, the display options that you have so very very cool um, so there you have that's now for comparison here he is with masterpiece side swipes you can see how he scales with the cars right there uh, here he is with Bumblebee. Obviously, he's way taller than Bumblebee. We have that. Uh, here he is with MP10. Just so you can get a sense of scale right there. Here he is with Apollyon. Again, just for that sense of scale. Right there. Ah, uh, what else have we got? Here he is with Starscream. See, there are scales with the Screamer. And you got that. How about some other fans' toy stuff? Here it is with their Perceptor. There you go. And here he is with Quake Wave. Right there. So you can see how they look together. There you go. And yes, Masterpiece Shockwave and Masterpiece Hot Rod. Yes, I have them both on pre-order. Looking very much forward to them. And it just honestly makes me sad about, about this guy. Because he's such a good figure. But um, I, I feel bad for fans' toys because I just can't imagine how many pre-orders for the reissue just got cancelled. <laughs> the second Masterpiece Shockwave was announced. Um... I feel bad for them, and you know, it sucks because Quake Wave is an awesome figure, though. He is still an awesome figure. But, you know, you knew that was going to happen. <laughs> the second I saw those pictures go up, I was like, oh, how many people are clicking, you know, cancel on their pre-orders for Quake Wave. I just, I, I, I feel bad for them because, like I said, Quake Wave is an amazing toy. But, um, anyway, we're not talking about Quake Wave here. We're talking about... Grenadier. And uh, what else are we doing here? Oh yeah, more comparisons. Here he is with the Fence Project. Not Bombshell. And again, going for two totally different styles. This is obviously more G1 style. This is more Fence Project's stylized version. Which I still think is very cool. So There you have that. Here it is with the Generations. Combiner Wars version there. You can see how they look. And here he is with the G1 pressure, my controlling pressures. There he is with G1 bomb shell. Now, one last thing I will do is, um, you know, you, you see how the, uh, the 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 G1 legs kind of, you know, how you can kind of compress them on the back for robot mode. But I'm going to swap these out for the uh, for these legs, just so you can see how they look. On the back of the toy so I will be right back BAM okay so we're done here and we got the other legs on him and you can see how these legs kind of compress on his back there they give him you know they, they, they give him a little more a little more junk on his back so that, that's one case where I do like the uh, the more G1 legs on him you can see down here you know 
Gives him a little bit more hanging off of his back. So, again, totally up to you how you want to display him. Um, and in case I forgot to uh, to show it off, and I think I did, um, just to swap out the chest piece, very easy. You're just undoing that screw right there. It's just one long screw. You just undo it. comes right out. Boop. And you pop in a new chest piece. Screw it back together, and there you go. So there you have that. And now uh, one more comparison that I totally forgot to do. I have him sitting right here next to the table, and I totally overlooked him, but there he is with, uh, with Soundwave. So you can see how he looks with Masterpiece Soundwave. There you go. But, um, yeah, as far as uh, Grenadier goes, um, very cool figure. Again, you know, I, I, I feel like Fans Toy has just kind of knocked it out of the park with this guy. He looks really, really cool. Um, and, uh, you know... You know, not saying anything bad about Bad Cube's version, and I mean, uh, Bad Cube did put out, you know, all three of them in one pack, which is definitely an advantage, as opposed to buying them separately. Um, I liked, I liked the, the Insecticons that Bad Cube did, but they, to me, just seemed a little off and just didn't, I don't know, for me, it didn't quite match the Masterpiece aesthetic as well as I would have liked. They still look like amazing figures. They look like they're they're really fun, and uh, they look awesome, but I feel like Fans Toys just knows how to nail that Masterpiece aesthetic a bit better. So, um, again, totally up to you which one you prefer. Again, t this is the great thing about this market is that we have options now, and that's awesome. So, you have your, you have your, uh, you have the right there to, to, to pick and choose. You have the option there to pick and choose which one you want. So, again, that's what's cool about this market is we just have a ton of options right now. So, you want Masterpiece and Secticons? Hey, pick one. But, um, me personally, I, I really, I really dig this guy, and I'm, I'm looking forward to the other two coming out. And again, just the optional pieces, you know, the fact that you can swap out chests, you can swap out legs, you can display them however you want. You do get some nice little Energon cubes to go with them. Very cool figure. And uh, definitely cool, definitely worth picking up if uh, you're interested in this in any way whatsoever. So if you would like a Grenadier or any of Fans Toys' other offerings, you can check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in, in the description down below, so do check that out. And you can also check out my third-party playlist for any third-party Transformers reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Fans Toys Grenadier. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Palm in your face. <laughs> What are you talking about? I am clearly smarter than you! Wrong. I am mentally superior in every way. Oh, please! I can run circles around you! You sing it, but you clearly do not bring it. Okay, what's going on here? But this cassette-toting buffoon insists that he's smarter than me! <laughs> That's ridiculous, I mean... Clearly, I put both of you to shame. <laughs> you know, I could mind control him into thinking he's a Petro Rabbit. Smart. <laughs>